Yeah. So if like yeah. your partner has like different love language standards than you, right? Do you think you would try to like meet them? Like, of course. Like, yeah. If they're like they're like gifts aren't important to you, but they're important to me. Of course. You would give them gifts. Yeah. Are relationships all about meeting in the middle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Compromise. Yeah. I would just say, I, would, uh, I, I can also see the argument from others where it would be like, well, this is about principal values. Why what? do you, like, you know, you know what I'm talking about? I'm, I'm yeah. doing like devil's advocate. No, no, right I, don't, now. No, no, I don't believe this, but you know, someone could be like, well, why do gifts mean so much to them? Why are they so obsessed with things? You know, and like they'll think that, and like, well, wow. I don't want to be with someone who prioritizes things over like what I think is important in like real relationship or whatever. That's kind of like saying, hey, you know what? If we're a fit piece of a puzzle, then it works. And if it doesn't, so be it. I'll just find someone that fits with me. Yeah. But you're a puzzle. How are you going to find someone that's a perfect fit with you? Some people believe that that's, that's possible. Look, we talked about soulmates. Yeah. And I don't even think soulmate standards fit that standard. Yeah. Yeah, because… There are going to be edges that you need to work out, right? No one could be exactly the same unless you were… You grew up in the same like pretext. Mm -hmm. Same kind of family ba background to the T. Even oh. then you'd be different because the experiences would be different. Possibly. Yeah. But if somehow you ever met someone that was completely 100% the same as you… I mean applause. Yeah. That's, that's crazy. That's crazy. That's also stuff. just kind of like narcissistic. <laughs> I mean that too. But <laughs> I mean, if you ever did… Yo. Like power to you. Get married for sure. I agree with the author. This tool should never be considered as like a, a matchmaker tool. Mm. Like hey. They have the same love languages to me. Maybe we'll fit. Or they have different… They have different factors that are higher rated than me. Maybe we won't fit. Maybe this is a bad idea. I don't think that should ever be the case. It should be used as a tool just like the actor was. The actor just like the writer was saying. Yeah. There you go. <coughs> That's my opinion. Yeah. Do you… Do you like… Do you see that like the love language things… Like do you see that like you tend to go out of your way to do acts of service for other people that you care about? Like do you try to have quality time with like the people you care about? Yeah, acts of service. Mm -hmm. You asked me for magnets from Europe. I got you magnets from Europe. You gave me one magnet from give me, Europe. You gave me a one magnet. And you you're asked like, for a magnet from and Europe. You and you forgot <laughs> it. And you forgot it yesterday. You know, if friends ask me to do something, then I'll I'll oblige. Yeah. Act of service. Gifts. Magnet from Europe. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, did you enjoy that content? If you did, there is more. Please download the full podcast on Spotify as well as Apple Podcasts. Also, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Dive Studios. Don't forget to turn notifications on to hear and see all your favorite clips as fast as possible.